for some people, the ultimate goal in life uh, has been becoming the President of the United States. Would you like to be the President of the United States? I really don't believe I would, Rona, but I would like to see somebody as the President who could do the job, and there are very capable people in this country. Most people who are capable are not running for office. It, Most men are frightened of politics today. It is a shame, isn't it? Yes. It is a shame. The most capable people are not necessarily running for political office. And that is a very sad commentary on the country. They had major corporations and they had this and that, but they are not running for political office. Why wouldn't someone like yourself run for political office? You have all the money that you possibly need. You've accomplished a great deal, even though you are only 34. I know there's a lot of things that you possibly can do in the years ahead. Why wouldn't you dedicate yourself to public service? Because I think it's a very mean life. I, I would love and I would, I would dedicate my life to this country, but I see it as being a mean life. And I also see it as somebody with strong views and somebody with the kind of views that are maybe a little bit unpopular, which may be right, but may be unpopular, wouldn't necessarily have a chance of getting elected against somebody with no great brain but a big smile. And that's a sad commentary for the political process. Television, in a strange way, has ruined that process, hasn't it? It's hurt the process very much. I mean, the Abraham Lincolns of the world. Abraham Lincoln would probably not be electable today because of television. He was not a handsome man, and he did not smile at all. He would not be considered to be a prime candidate for the presidency, and that's a shame, isn't it? But if all the men are like you, then when are we going to get somebody who might be good? I don't know. I hope it's around the corner, but I don't know. I really don't know. What I would like to be involved in is trying to help choose somebody or working with a group of people whereby they put up a candidate who would be acceptable to be a presidential, you know, or to, to be the president. The country, if we had the one man, and it's really not that big a situation. You know, people say, well, what could anybody do as president? The one man could turn this country around. The one proper president could turn this country around. I firmly believe that. You think there is one man? There is one man that can turn this country around. I could tell you I know a number of people that would be excellent presidents. I will not tell you who they are, but I know a number of people that could be excellent presidents of this country. But they are not running for political office. They're not in political office. They're extraordinarily brilliant. They're very, very competent. Uh, they're leaders, they, uh, they have the respect of everybody, and they would be fabulous presidents, but they're not running for political office, and I think that's very sad. And I think you said it, maybe television is the thing that most hurt the political process in this country. If you lost your fortune today, what would you do tomorrow? Maybe I'd run for president. I don't know. <laughs> you mean you think you have to be uh, bankrupt? Uh, with not a dime in your pocket in order to uh, be a, a good president? No, I'm only kidding. You know, when I say that, of course, I'm being somewhat facetious. But I have to tell you, a lot of people would vote for you if you were in that position because they'd feel sorry for you. And again, I think that's a very sad commentary. I think that's a very sad commentary. Yet every man who's aspired to the White House in recent years has been a millionaire and better. Well, that could be, but I don't consider millionaires and better. You know, Plains, Georgia, I'm not sure if that's necessarily a millionaire or better. I really look at I really look at a person's mind and his own individual competence, not necessarily his wallet.